up you guys welcome back to a new video with Brienne Fern I'm gonna be getting ready with you guys I feel like I haven't done a get ready with me in so long but it's gonna be really quick it's not gonna be like the whole video super quick so I'm gonna just like speed all of this up but it's gonna be super like my little like quick mom go to makeup um it is raining guys and that's why I have this hoodie on because I'm like, I'm feeling the vibes. By the way, I don't have my nails on. I know you guys never see me with nails like this. But I'm like, it feels great. Like, honestly, to have like a break from nails. So a little bit of primer. By the way, you guys, my skin has been glowing. Okay, it's at 22 minutes, so I want to try to finish at 30 minutes. See if I could do a full look in 30 minutes, guys. Let's see. Let's go. Do y'all think we have time for some eyeliner? We're at 23 minutes. finished up what do you guys think did I do a good job and I finished at 28 minutes exactly guys I obviously sped it up so you guys are not here for the full thing but look at this I think it did a pretty good job for rushing I think I could go out anywhere in this gown and yeah okay so let's get on with the vlog let me know what you guys thought about my look and if you guys would like to see more like tutorials on how i do my makeup 
because I could for sure bring them. I miss doing makeup tutorials. Yeah. By the way, you guys, Mama's birthday just passed. She's an Aries queen. I love my queen. You guys already know. Um, and I just wanted to tell you guys, if you guys ever need to, like, make invitations, like, I know nowadays what we use is, like, the technology invitations. Like, basically, like, a flyer. So, I just want to put you guys on. Like, if you guys ever need help making invitations, I definitely recommend Evite. So if you guys don't know, I've used Evite in the past before. And it's super easy to use. Basically, Evite is a website where you guys can choose from thousands of designs. Or you guys can also upload your own image if you'd like. Which is super convenient. If it's your baby's birthday and you want her face, you guys can choose that. You guys can choose from different designs. Like baby shower theme, birthday theme, wedding theme. Literally, you name it guys even like a pizza party and if you guys really want to go above and beyond with your invitations you should definitely check out the premium invitations these are absolutely stunning all it takes is a few minutes to design and also send to everyone on your guest list plus rsvp tracking is included with these invites so you guys will always know who confirms and is going to attend your party you can also link your registries like amazon and target to your invites for your guests to use if you're not planning a party or an event but you have one to attend evite also offers amazingly designed greeting cards that you could send definitely recommend you guys share this with everybody that you know that loves to host uh parties or any events because this will help them out drastically i know it helped me you guys already know me i love to host everything here in my home so i'm always using evite head on over to evite.com slash fern to choose from thousands of design options to create and send invitations for free. Super easy to use, you guys will love this. So shout out to Evite for sponsoring today's video. You guys look who it is. What's up? They missed you. For real? Yeah, I think so. I think. Did you guys miss Freddie Bear or no? Ooh. Or was it just me? Just you, babe. You guys, so Fernando just got us some in and out my favorite. So we are gonna be doing like a little mukbang slash um how we met. So we've never done a how we met video, right? What well, we did. Can I sit like this? Yeah, you can sit like that. Oh thank you guys, you come to me. So we're gonna do a How We Met video. We actually did post it on the Murillo Twins channel long, long ago, but I ended up deleting it. So we're here again. Do you wanna see it? No, I don't wanna do it again, so you do what you want. <laughs> I'll stay here. Evie's over here eating his burger too. Okay, so it started, um, so I basically met his friend. Um, it was the Cool Grease drop. This is when everybody was lining up for like Jordans. So that's where they all seen me. And when I met up with um, like all of them, like it was like a group of you guys, huh? Yeah. And I met Fernando and Fernando had always stood out to me cause I was like, oh my God, like out of all of them, you know when you start deciding like which friend is like the cutest one. So keep in mind you guys, I was 15. Yeah, this is when I was 15. Damn bro, you were young. I was a little, but you know, you gotta keep an eye out like, who's the cutest one, you know? So I had saw a friend and I thought he was so cute. Like I thought he, the way he dressed was always cute. I feel like that was a big thing for me. Like, like how you dress and like what shoes you wore. I don't know. My priorities were not straight at the time. No, you were fucking 10. <laughs> I know um, Stud and his friends always, like my mom um, liked you, my mom really liked him because she met him, like when I met him. So the day I met Fern, my mom met him too. But I introduced them as friends obviously because we were all friends. So then um, Fernando, I asked my mom if like we can, um, if my friends could come over to the house because that's at the, at the time that's when Brittany was like, was she pregnant or no? I don't think she was playing yet. Well, she probably was, but she hadn't told her. Oh, okay. She was having guy problems with her baby daddy and stuff, and my mom knew about it. And, yeah, like, my mom's like, I don't want Brianna to be the same, so I'm going to, like, give her more trust this time because I don't want her to get pregnant, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, friend was, like, really shy. I feel like you were shy. When? When I first met you. No. Yeah, you were. You were quiet. With me. Not with your friends, but with me, you were. Well, 
I had just met you, I didn't know what to tell you. Yeah, you were shy because he liked candy. me. You yeah. didn't like you. Oh. I just met you, I'm not gonna like you that fast. He liked me. So, then, what else, baby? Then you asked for my number, and here we are. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, what do you- what, I don't That's why- That's why you explain and I sit here, that's why I just said it. I never leave it to friends because you guys will have a sad, dry story. Rim. Yeah. Yours? You said so much stuff that I feel like I'm living through it again. Can you let me do Okay, anyways. Here baby, drink that one. Um, no, so I guess he said that I asked for his number. I don't know. I don't see me doing that. I honestly don't no, remember. Really? But if you do remember, then that's probably the truth. Like that. You said we're in the car listening to music. I don't know. I think we're just all chilling in the car. And then some song came on that you liked, and you're like, "Oh, um, I told you the name," and I don't know for some reason you kept acting like you couldn't remember it. So you're like, "Oh, okay. Well, I'm leaving now. Can you just text me the name of the song?" Yeah. And it doesn't you give me a number? Yeah. So I I, nice I wanted play. I wanted his numbers. Supposedly for a song, which I really did, but then you started texting me, oh. hey, I swear you guys. Then he started like texting me all the time saying, hey, hey, I swear to God, I remember. You would always text me, hey, and then I'm like, hey, but then like, I feel like, the like you would text me like cute stuff, but then like after a while, like the conversation would just be dry. So I'm like, okay, like I felt like, I felt like it was kind of too nice because I like when I was like back in the day 15, I like to like be mean and mess around. That was my way of like being cute, but friend would just be too nice. I'm like, okay. So then that's when you asked me to be your Valentine. I said, yeah, because I would literally always be like, yeah, like, you know, when you always say, yeah, you're down for stuff, but then like last minute well, you play. You for everything? That was me. Like, I would always lie, and be like, yeah, I'm done knowing that when my mom was strict. No, you need to eat, no candies, okay? <laughs> eat your food. Eat your food. Probably should I go to a room since we're crying. And then? This animal style fries. Mm hmm. Bomb. Anyway, so he asked me to be a grand and say, I said, yeah, but I knew I wasn't going to go because I knew my mom was strict. First of all, second of all, I was like, oh, who knows if I'll even go. But since my mom really liked him, she's like, oh, yeah, you could go. And I was like, what? Okay. But then, last minute, I don't want to go anymore. Like, I changed my mind. I, I guess I was being really scary, right? Yeah, you were a chicken. I was scared because this was like my first real date. I had never gone on a date, you guys. Let alone had a first kiss. And I literally, like, begged my mom, like, I don't want to go. And she you better go. She even went to, like, Walgreens for me. Bought a card, chocolates, and, like, a little bear. Damn, but you didn't buy that fuck up. No, I didn't buy it because I was like, I wasn't even ready for this date at all. And I remember what I was wearing. I was wearing some jeans, a Hollister shirt, and some Uggs. And I was so nervous. I did not want to go. I was just scared because I'd never been in a relationship, had my first kiss on a date, nothing. So I was scared. So he picked me up, which that's what I liked because he had a car. And. He knew how to dress, like he was really cute, and I was like, okay, whatever. So we're in the car, just, you know, like listening to music, and he bought me this big, giant teddy bear, you guys, like, it was so huge. We ended up throwing him away because our dog humped it so much. You already knew that. Anyways, so it was this huge teddy bear, and he had it in the back, and I was like, oh, cute, whatever. And so then we get to Chevy's and there's like a long line or whatever and I'm just like oh my god And I was so shy to eat in front of Fernando you guys like I did not want to eat in front of him And like or I remember I was like I need to get like the most simplest dish ever that where I'm not like You know because I was so shy I got this three taco plate yeah, and then you got this big like sizzling, overdid it and everything like oh my I'll god, I mean, I'm so embarrassed. Like I was like, I'm so shy, like I can't believe this. And I'm just like barely taking baby bites and I wasn't even like I don't know from because I was so scared that my hunger went away but I was not hungry. And I was like, what do we talk about next? Like you know when you're like on those dates where you're just like, all right, like, and at the time, you guys, we weren't over 21, so we couldn't, like, take the edge off with drinks. Like, nowadays, you could do that, you know? 
But when you're 15, you just say, You could loosen up. Like, hi, like, what's next to talk about? And I was like, fuck, I wanna hurry up and go back to home. Yeah, and so after dinner, he, I guess, he had plans to take me to the movies. And I lied and said my mom needed me home already. And my mom was like on her own date and everything, not even worried about me. And she was like, you better go um, to the movies. I was like, mom, I lied and said that you needed me home already. And he was, I remember mean, we were so sad. He's like, no, I had like a date. That, like, was, that was a way for So he took me back home and I got out of the car and he got out of the car. And I remember you tried to kiss me. And I was so mad because I'm like, oh, how no, this, this boy is not going to take my first kiss just like that just because you took me on a date. Like, how no? So he goes, can I give you a kiss? I'm like, no. Like, wow. you're not going to just take my, it doesn't work like that. Like, what the heck? How no, baby. No. So then I was like, no. And he's like, what about on the cheek? I was like, sure. So he kissed me on the cheek. And uh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so then he, he after that, he, was, he gave me like a... Uh, a piece of paper, I think it was a yellow piece of paper, I remember. And it said, will you be my prom date? And I was like, oh my god. And I said, yes, knowing that I was not gonna go. Oh my god, crazy. What was the other? So then in between Valentine's Day to his prom, prom was probably like in May, we were like texting, but then would stop texting, and then texting, would stop texting, like just all throughout those months. And then May comes and he's like, oh, are we still going to prom? And I, this time I did ask my mom because I was up to go. I was like for sure down to go to his prom and my mom was like no because she did, we couldn't afford to like, she couldn't afford to buy me like a dress or do anything anything like that. So that's what sucks that we never went to his prom. But he did invite me to his graduation so we did and I went and I invited my friends. So we would always go and party with like Fern and his senior friends and that's exactly how I met Amy through Fernando because they have like a group of you guys know our squad from Sacramento so that's like their squad and Amy was in it so that's how I met Amy but I remember throughout those years throughout those months you would like ask me out and I'll be like no I remember one time you did ask me out and I was like no like I'm not ready to be in a relationship yet like we need to be we need to take things slow yeah or something like that and I told you no, and then he's, you were like, okay. So for one year straight, we were just like talking in the talking stage. We were pretty much together, but not. I, mean, I guess you wanted to talk a lot. Yeah, we just, cause I was really scared. I was little and I had never been in a relationship and I was just, I don't know, I feel like my sister also traumatized me greatly, like with her relationship no, that I was like, job. I don't want to be in a relationship cause you, like my sister scared me. So I was really scared of boys also, but I feel like Fern always made me feel comfortable like He always made me feel comfortable. He never like like pressured me To do anything never like pushed me never made me feel uncomfortable like I was always comfortable yeah, around feel Fern. Sexy and cute. Yeah, sure <laughs> So then yeah, and like Fern would always come and see me like if you're from Sac uh, he lived in the north and I lived in Outgrove. So it was like a 30, 40 minute drive and he would come every day to see me, like every day. He would take me to um, my job, McDonald's, and he would even take my sister Thanks. to McDonald's, her job, and then even take her to her doctor's appointment. I don't know, I just felt like I like, started falling in love with you Fern. You had earned points, bro, come on. Yeah, I started falling in love with Fern each, and like, you know, each day. And then we would go out to party and we would get drunk and then I made out with him. That's how I got my first kiss, because I made out with him drunk. See, when you're drunk, you, that's what you really want. <laughs> I know. You could have just asked me. And I would wake up and I'm like, what did I do? Oh my God. So, we were basically like exclusive to each other for that year. We just didn't have a title. So then, that following year of Valentine's Day, he asked me to be his Valentine's. And of course, he said, yeah, because we were already like pretty much together. And he officially asked me to be his girlfriend. Amy helped him, actually. Uh, huh? So Amy always tells me that she asked me out because she friend would always go to her for, for advice. What happened, baby? Well, all I asked him was, what kind of cookie do I get? <sighs> but she didn't give you the whole idea. 
to not I remember. Probably she did. Because friend was it? What's it like a good romantic way to ask Brianna out? And then Amy was like, "You should go to Miss Fields, like the cookie store, and just be like." get a cookie that says will you be my girlfriend and then he got me this San Francisco 49er built a bear and we went out to eat and then after that we went in downtown Sacramento walked around and then he pulled out his gift and I was like oh my god like this is real like once I say yeah like it's it's done like there's no going back like this is it and I was like yeah and yeah ever since you didn't then, say yeah like you always say yeah I was a guest, and then we kissed, and then I remember we were sitting down, and it was so cute. So oh that's exactly how we met, you guys. Really cute cry, story, man. huh? I'm about to cry. Such a beautiful moment, huh? Yeah. Such oh. a cute story, guys. And Thank 11 God. years later, we're still together. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I feel like Fernando is my soulmate because. I feel like I can't see myself with nobody else. All, a lot of you guys have been like, Brie, that's your only boyfriend. Yes, this is my only boyfriend. Everything, guys. Like, you name it. So, oh, <laughs> what do you think? I love it. And I love that you explained everything while I was eating the whole time. Yeah, look. Yeah, look, baby, I, I, that, those fries, that fries, my burger. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Let me know what you guys think down below. And Peace yeah. Out. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video.